This is the Realme 6 Pro, and this is one of the most hyped devices on my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. People asking me to review it, people asking me to check it out. And the big question is, what's so special about this phone? What's so nice about this phone? What's so unique about this device? That's the question. Those are the questions that we'll be asking in today's unboxing and initial look of the Realme 6 Pro, one of the newest smartphones to hit the Philippines. Let's go. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, now is the great time to do so. We're giving away a bunch of cool accessories. We're giving extra sneaker laces from Sneaker Mate. We're giving away Yeezy-inspired face mask from It's So Good. And we're even giving away sneaker cleaning solutions from Resurrect. So subscribe now, follow me on Instagram, like my Facebook page, join our Facebook community. All the links can be found down below and click the link in the description box for the rest of the mechanics. Good luck. Now, before we get into the unboxing, please do take note that there is no official price yet for the Realme 6 Pro. However, if I were to guesstimate, it's definitely below 20,000, most likely anywhere from 15 to 20,000 pesos depending on taxes and how Realme Philippines can get it down. And if you think about it, with that price point, that by itself actually makes this device special because Realme has been known for coming out with a lot of bang for your buck value products. They're actually giving Xiaomi around for their money. A lot of the Xiaomi fans will get mad just by me saying that, but that's the truth. What do you get with your 15 to 20,000 pesos? Again, I'm not sure what exactly the price point will be. First, you get the Snapdragon 720G processor. Yes, it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, not MediaTek. And it is part of the 700 series, which is built really for gaming and photography. Second, it has a 90 hertz display. So everything that you'll see in it should be buttery smooth from browsing to videos to different kinds of activities that you do on your phone. This should be able to display it very well. And lastly, it has six cameras. You have the in-display dual selfie camera up front and you have four cameras at the back with led by the 64 megapixel main shooter. Now with that out of the way, let's get to the unboxing. As you guys can see, it comes your typical Realme yellow box. And then if you pop it open, you have that message which says, welcome to the Realme family. And of course, inside this, you get the case that usually comes with Realme devices. You have the manuals and the information packet, and then you get to the actual device. So we'll set it aside first and we'll take a closer look in a bit. Now, apart from the phone, you have the charger and you have the USB to USB-C cable. By the way, this has fast charging, so you should be able to charge it pretty fast. Now, let's get to the phone. To be honest, this is one of the most breathtaking, stunning devices that I've seen in this price point. It is one of the most beautiful, nice looking smartphones that's still made out of plastic. You would think that devices that still use materials like this would be like generic and crap. That's definitely not the case here. If you take a look at the back, depending on the angle and how the light bounces off it, you get some sort of like shape. Uh, from what I've read and what I've seen, it's supposed to be inspired by lighting and you actually get that. You get that lighting bolt effect if you tilt it a certain way and it looks really kick-ass. Now, this particular color, some sort of like purple and red from what I've read also is exclusive here in the Philippines. India has an orange exclusive version and I think there's like a blue version of this as well available locally. And like what I mentioned earlier, you have the three stars of the show. You have the 90 hertz display which is just incredibly smooth. So if you are, if you love to watch like, you know, movies or series that have a lot of movement, especially those fight scenes on Dragon Ball or Justice League or sports, anything with a lot of things going on on the screen, this should make it even better, the overall experience, especially since it already has a massive screen to begin with. And of course, you have the 720G processor combined with a generous serving of RAM. If you are playing games, I tried it earlier, it does really well on my favorite NBA 2K20. I think it's the only game I'm playing on my phone lately. Uh, it's nothing short of stunning. I mean, from the animation, to the movements, to the graphics, really good, two thumbs up. Now let's get to the third star of the show. Like what I mentioned earlier, it's the camera. And you have six. Here at the front, you have the in-display dual selfie. Uh, shots that I initially took in terms of test shots were really great. 
in decent lighting conditions and good lighting conditions. So that's a big plus for this one. I, I haven't tested it yet in night mode, so we'll have to wait for the full review for that one. And when you take a look at the back setup, you have four cameras, of course, led by the 64 megapixel shooter. And you pretty much have all the things that you would want in a camera for this device. You have the normal shot, you have the ultra wide shot, you have a zoom in shot, you have a 5X digital zoom shot, and you even have a macro shot all built into this device. Versatility is there, but in terms of quality, the very best one is really the primary 64 megapixel shot. Uh, the ultra wide, you lose some sort of the dynamic range best based on my uh, initial tests, but it's still pretty good. What's so special about the Realme 6 Pro? Well, to be honest, it's really the entire package for the price point. It's the value that you get out of the device. You usually don't get like dual selfie cameras with wide angle on smartphones at this price range. You usually don't get like 64 megapixel shooters with a quad camera setup at the back at this price range. You usually don't get like the 90 you know, hertz display. Uh, so there are a lot of things going on for the Realme 6 Pro that are really just great. And you usually need to pay a lot for features like those. And it's great to see technology catching up, moving at such a fast rate that you can actually get a lot of the best features of devices of smartphones today at a much lower price. That's what you get with the Realme 6 Pro. In fact, it kind of makes you question the need to buy smartphones at 40,000, 50,000, 60,000, 70,000 because the smartphones at this price range, 15 to 20,000 pesos are already getting really competitive, really good. Now, if you want one yourself, the good news is we should be seeing this officially being sold on Lazada very soon. Realme is staging a live stream on May 27 noontime and you can expect Expect all the announcements from the pricing to availability to all the details that you need to know about the device come that day. So make sure that you tune in to the Real Me Philippines Facebook page May 27 noontime. But that's it for our initial hands-on review as well as unboxing of the Realme 6 Pro. I'll be doing a more comprehensive take on this device in the coming days ahead. Watch out for that video when it drops. By the way, I gave a 3,000 likes challenge and we're still far off. The, the concept was simple. If you guys could get my Realme 6i video to 3,000 likes, I'll give the phone away. So we're still far from 3,000 likes. So if you want a giveaway of a Realme 6 iPhone, go to that video. I'll put the link down below as well as somewhere up here and then watch it and then hit like, hit the thumbs up. The moment it hits 3,000 thumbs ups or likes, I'll do a giveaway. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed our vlog for today. As usual, peace, God bless, what's up? Boom.